Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, in today's video, we're not currently on Fortnite, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best and 100% free aim trainers you can use on PC to improve your aim with your mouse. So let's go ahead and get started. So the software I'm showing you guys today is called Aim Labs, which is available on Steam. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you're interested. So starting right off, I'm just going to show you guys some settings and go over why I think this is so good. So you can change all your keybinds, you can change, you know, game stuff, such as, and one of the big things that I like about this is that you can actually use third-person POV, uh, so that the camera is in third-person as it is in Fortnite. And you can make custom crosshairs, and you can actually change your FOV as well, although I do have mine set at 80, because that is what it is in Fortnite. Now, the coolest thing about the Aim Labs specifically, and I know Kovacs also has this, but Aim Labs is free, so you can actually import settings straight from Fortnite, so as you guys can see, it does support a wide variety of games and you can choose Fortnite and you can even choose to set your settings based on the pre 11.3 update or the post so pre was back when it was something like this and post is when it's already changed so my settings are obviously uh, set to post where these are in percentages and you can even change your ADS and everything like that you can change your graphics as well you can change your resolution everything so with that being said guys I'm just gonna go back here so now let's get into the tra training scenarios because that's what you guys are here for you guys are here to train your aim so they are gonna right here when you click on the training tab here up top they are gonna show you a bunch of like suggested tasks now one that that's really good is grid shot it's something similar to tile frenzy as you guys have kind of seen in the preview there but if you want to see all the tasks that are available you can go ahead and click on this task tab right here and they're gonna have a bunch of kind of like topics for you to choose from what what like with like what you want to practice so just flicking right here as you can see there are a bunch of small like bunch of like tasks you can practice two I really recommend is one micro shot because it practices small flicks and the second one is grid shot because grid shot is something like tile frenzy where you can basically just keep flicking around and practicing uh, your overall like cognition and your precision with your mouse Next setting is tracking, where you're actually just straight up practicing your tracking following a target. You can have something like strafe track, which I think is really good. And another thing I really like also is this scenario they have at the bottom right here called free track, where you just have like a person looking like figure running around and you just have to try and hit them. Speed is also a really good one. This practices your like speed. You have to always go quickly and targets will disappear if you don't shoot them quick enough. As uh, It doesn't really show here in the preview, but targets will disappear if you don't shoot them quick enough, so you do have to rely a lot on your speed. And the thing I really like is that, as you guys can see here, the amount of time an orb stays up adaptively increases or decreases based on how well you are doing, so that you are always training at your threshold. That's something I think is really cool, that it's implemented into the software, so you're always training, always getting better. So obviously a couple that I recommend for these would be motion shot, micro shot, spider shot is always good, um, and strafe shot is also pretty interesting as well. Now going to precision, this is also another one that's really good for getting like very precise mouse movements. So what pre what uh, precision basically is, is the orb size adaptively increases or decreases. So as you're going and you're doing well hitting all the big targets, you know, uh, the targets will get smaller over time. and once it gets small to the point where you're starting to miss a lot, they'll increase back in size. So like you can kind of like aim and like practice at your threshold and always be getting better. Cognition honestly is not that important for Fortnite, so I'm not gonna stick around here much. But you're welcome to check these tasks out if you would like. De and detection here, I think it's really cool. It actually practices how well you can like detect where people are. So audio spatial eight is actually really good because you have eight targets all around you and one will make a noise and you have to figure out which one made the noise which I think is so cool and now you have sandbox AI this is cool as well it's a thing where there's an artificial intelligence basically controlling the task uh, adjusting the, the task so that it fits your training what you want to train so that uh, you can get better now this all sounds cool right you guys are ready to jump into aim training on aim labs but something else that's also very cool as well is that you can also go to this custom tab and you can not only customize your weapons, your playlist, the map that you're playing in, anything like that. You can actually change each task. So now they don't give you all the tasks to mess around with because unfortunately Aim Labs is still in beta. But you can change things like micro, micro shot here. And if I show you guys, what I can actually do is I can change how long the challenge takes. So if 
these are in seconds, obviously. Uh, you can change the size mode, see if it's fixed or random or AI. Change target color. You can change the size, the minimum and the maximum size of each target as well. So if you struggle with like small targets and that's what you want to work on, maybe maybe you want to make the maximum a little smaller. You can change the speed the targets are moving around uh, or the duration for which they appear. And you can also change their distance and their health. And you can obviously set all settings back to default with this. You can either save your changes or if this is only a temporary uh, one-time training thing, you can just go ahead and press play. With that being said, guys, I'm just going to show you guys some clips of me playing Grid Shot and a couple others uh, of like some of the best ones that I recommend for getting better aim. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know this 100% free and good aim trainer on PC. Once again, the link to download Aim Labs will be in the description below. If you enjoyed my content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If this video helped you out, introduce you to anything new, please leave a like on it. If you would like, you can also follow me on Twitter at Jedi2x. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace.